the boat tied by Vandiyathevan to Alvarkadayan drifted a short distance with the river and drifted to the shore. The two soldiers, who were pushed into the river flood, reached the shore where the boat was stranded. Alvarkadayan did not get off the boat. He remained tied up in the boat and told the others to stay hidden. The truth is that Alvarkadayan's intention was to make Vandiyadeva and Karutharuma escape. He knew that the Prime Minister's wish was the same. As both of them are currently in Tanjore, many old incidents will have to be researched. Both the Chief Minister and Alwarkadayan have no doubts about Vandiyathevan's innocence. However, investigating him will cause many embarrassments. Many will be disappointed. The worst thing is to make that speech reach the ears of the people. Aromas Hivarma will lose a great friend and the Chola Kingdom will lose a great heroic diplomat. The Chief Minister was aware of Kundave's state of mind and Manamekali's apparent interest in Vandiyatheva. Tirumala believed and expected that Vandiyadeva and Karutharuma would travel along the banks of this river after Sendan found the horses in Amudha's Nandavan. If you go along that river bank as said by Sataruman, you can go till the place where it merges with Bamani River. Half of the crores will be gone. So they will come that way. All Alwarkadayan waited there, intending to stop them on their way and send a message to Vandiyathevan. It took a little longer than he expected. We thought wrong, we must have taken a different route, or something unexpected must have happened, Tirumala decided to step down from the boat to the shore, when the sound of horses' footsteps was heard in the distance. So, he lay down like one who had been tied up again. As the horses drew near, he shouted, Oko! Who's there? Stop a moment! Unleash me and let me go! He shouted. Yet the horses went on without stopping. He saw that the first rider on the horse was Chukaruman. So, when the second horse approached, Vandiyatheva! Vandiyadeva! Stop! He shouted loudly. The second horse also stopped. Then Alwarkadian looked at the person on top of it. He was immersed in endless wonder. He said, There is something wrong with my eyes, my senses are failing. The horses passed him and stopped after a short distance. Only one horse came back. From the top of it descended the sage. He came near the boat. Sin! Are you still bound? How great a favor you have done us! I will at least set you free in return. But show me none of your tricks!" Saying this, as he bent down, Tirumala suddenly rushed to the bank, grabbed him by the neck and threw him down. Not expecting this at all, Thukuruman was stunned and paralyzed for a while. Then said, Alas, father! Leave me alone! You have merit! Can you betray the trust of one who has come to do good? There, your friend Vandiyadeva is waiting. Yes, he is hailing you as his dear friend. What will he think when he comes here and sees your work? I can't escape with my life. Leave me! Father! Leave me!" He lamented piteously. All Alwarkadayans said, Oh! How dare you lie! Who is on that horse? Tell me the truth! If you tell me, I will let you go, or the next minute you will not be alive! He said. Yes, yes! I lied! I cannot deceive you! The one on that horse is not Vandiyadeva! It is Prince Madhurandhagar. Leave me alone. I will buy the gifts you want from him. Okay, okay. Let there be gifts. Where is Vandiyadeva? He got off his horse at that Nandavan hut. He was not seen again. Where are you going? That's where I intended to go with Vandiyadeva. That means to the island of Ceylon. Yes. Why is Madhurandar coming to Sri Lanka? What do I know? Ask him. He's leaving saying he's coming with me. Alwarkadayan squeezed Kuryudiruman's chest and said, Tell me the truth. Whose son is Madhurandhagan? He asked. What is this question? Of the champion Mathavi. No, no do not fret. My life will depart. Son of the mute Mandakini. Who is Madhurandhagan's father? Tell me the truth. 
otherwise you will not escape with your life. Satarai Raman replied in a very soft voice. Good, you survive. Tell me one last thing. Whose son is Sendan Amuthan? Why are you asking me? You already knew. Kandaratathar, the son of Sembian Mathavi. Yes, but I am the reason why he is alive today. Deaf and dumb Vana thought the child was dead and tried to bury it. I heard the child's cry and saved him. At least for that, leave me alive now. In fact, that's why I'm letting you live now. After saying that, Alwarkadian got up. The sage ran and mounted the horse. The two horses galloped along the river bank in that rainy darkness.